Now, South Korea's summer vacation season is right around the corner. COVID travel restrictions have been relaxed, but record-breaking fuel surcharges are adding to already expensive airline tickets. Shin Sebyok with this report. Airports have started to see more travelers wanting to go overseas, taking trips that they had postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm traveling for the first time in a year. I'm very excited. But the excitement of these travelers is dampened by record-breaking fuel surcharges that are making flights more expensive by the day. The flight price for this trip was extremely expensive. I wanted to plan on the trip, but didn't dare to because it was so much. International students leaving for their studies are shocked by return flight prices that are at record high levels. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, a round-trip flight to New York was under 1,000 U.S. dollars, but it is now closer to 2,000 dollars. Flight prices on average have more than doubled. The number of flights at Incheon International Airport is increasing as well as the number of travelers, though airport traffic is still only at roughly one-third of where things were before the pandemic. The recovery rate of international flights is still at 20 percent compared to before COVID-19. We are making full efforts to further expand operations in July to run 162 flights across 34 routes. The slowly increasing number of flights available may not solve the problem. Fuel surcharges are announced by airlines every month, and these have been hitting record highs since February this year. Customers looking to book an international flight for July are looking at fuel surcharges of $33 to $250 for Korean Air flights and $36 to $206 for Asian Airlines. Industry analysts are not expecting international airfares to return to normal until at least the fourth quarter of this year. Shin Sebyok, Arirang News.